Number 75. What volume of oxygen at 423.0 Kelvin and a pressure of 127.4 kilopascals is produced by the decomposition of 129.7 grams of BaO2 to BaO and O2? Okie dokie. So remember, guys, if they're asking you for a question, right, in this case, they're asking you for the volume of oxygen, that's one thing and they're giving you numbers about another compound, chances are we need to write a balanced equation. So the first thing here is write the balanced equation for the decomposition of BaO2 to BaO and O2. So I got BaO2, whoa, BaO2 will decompose into BaO plus O2. Now remember, always double check if the equation is balanced. So you can pause the video to see if you can balance this equation and then just see if your answer matches mine. But I'm just gonna take it a little bit quicker here. I do see that the oxygens are not balanced. There's a total of two on the left side and three on the right side. So I'm just gonna do like a guess and check. If I put a two in front of here, I'll have two bariums. So if I put a two in front of here to have two bariums, I now have four oxygens and voila, two plus two is four. So we're done. Now let's write out all the stuff that we have and what we're solving for. They're asking for the volume of oxygen and oxygen is just the O2. So the question is really asking for the volume of this. Now they told us more information. They told us that, you know, what was the volume of this at this temperature? So the volume and this temperature go together. So what's the volume of O2 at a temperature equal to 423.0 Kelvin and a pressure of 127.4 kilopascals. So this temperature and this pressure goes together. So I also know that for the O2, I have a pressure of 127.4 kilopascal. And now they're telling us that we're decomposing 129.7 grams of BiO2. So that's over here. So I have 129 point seven grams of the BaO2. So now since I have more information about the O2, let's see if I could find a formula. I'm solving for a volume. I got one temp, I got one pressure. I don't have any sets. So I'm going to use the ideal gas law, which is this one, right? PV equals NRT. Maybe I'll just put this like up here. So remember, all of the units are right smack in the R value, which is 0 0.0821, right? It's a universal gas constant, and the, the units for the R value is ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So the pressure that we have to use has to be an ATM. And oh boy, conversions are ready, right? We need to go from kilopascal to ATM. So I wrote down here the top four pressure units that you're probably going to encounter and the conversion between them. One ATM is 101.325 kilo pascals. So if I just need to go from kilopascal to ATM, you could set up the dimensional analysis if you want to, but all we would have to do is basically just divide by 101.325. So first let's get this answer into ATM. Now this is not the final answer, so I'm not going to round as much as I should. We don't like to round in the intermediate steps if we can, you know, uh, go against it, I guess. 127.4 divided by 101.325. And I get one, Point, and I'll bring it out a few decimals, 25734, 1.25734, and that's now ATM. And now we have the pressure in ATM, so I can check this off. Now we're searching for the volume, right? V equals question mark. So I should know the N, the R, and the T value. But we already said that we had the R value. T is temperature, right? And that has to be in Kelvin here. And thank goodness for that. They gave it to us in Kelvin. So I have this. The only thing is the N value. And remember, N stands for moles. 
Now, if we're being specific, if we're solving for the volume of O2, that means we should have the moles of O2 as well. But they didn't give us that, right? So how am I going to find that? Oh, that's why they gave us this information. This is all the way back in the day stoichiometry, right? I have a gram of BaO2. I can use my balanced equation to go from one thing to another. So in this case, if I start off with 129.7 and I have grams of BaO2, the idea is to get this into moles of O2. But remember in that chapter, in order to convert from one compound to another, both units have to be in moles. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to convert this gram into the moles. I need moles of BaO2. And then from there, I can go to moles of O2. So let's go for it. This is just dimensional analysis converting. So 129.7, uh, and this is now grams of BaO2, times by the ratio. Put the unit you don't want on the bottom, so grams of BaO2 on the bottom, and moles of BaO2 up on the top. Gram to mole relationship of the same compound is the periodic table, and that's always one mole. One mole equals whatever the mass is on the periodic table. So I got two um, oxygen, so two times 16, plus one barium, 137.3. So I get 169.3. I'm not at my final answer yet, so I'm not going to calculate it, but I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Times by the ratio throw the unit you don't want on the bottom. So mole of BaO2 goes on the bottom. And now I'm going to do mole of O2 on the top. Mole to mole relationship of different compounds or molecules is the balanced equation. And you're just looking at the coefficients. There was a 2 in front of the BaO2, and there was nothing in front of the O2. Remember, that just means that you have one of them. So I have 1... O2 for every two BaO2s. Cancel this out, and now we have the unit that we want, which is mole of O2. So let's see. 129.7 divided by 169.3, divide again by 2. This is still not the answer that we want, so try not to round too much. 0 0.3830, we'll say 5. And that's now mole and maybe I'll put this down here. And now I know this number. So I have the moles. And now I can use this formula, the PV equals NRT, to solve for V. So maybe I will just do this. And then I'm going to work from left to right. So the pressure in ATM was 1.25734 times by the volume. I'll label that as X equals the moles that we just found, 0 0.38305 times the R value, 0 0.0821 times by the temperature, uh, 40, 423.0. If I want to get X by itself, all we have to do is just divide on both sides by the pressure value, right? 1.25734. 1.25734, and this will cancel, and now X is the volume. So let's see, 0 0.38305 times 0 0.0821 times 423, oop, right, 423, yep, 423, and then divide that by 1.25734. Looks good to me. Now I'm going to use my sig figs. I see that in the question, all numbers had four sig figs, so technically we give four back. So this would be 10.58. And remember, if you're solving for V in your equation, it has to be in liters because the R value has liters in there. So this would be liters of oxygen, O2. And that is your final answer. Woohoo! All right, not too bad. Gas equation, P 
PV equals NRT, a little bit of, you know, regular stoic that we learned. So we got this. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out, and I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.